Hi, I'm Imogen. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I went to Ferndale Garden Centre, which is one of my favourite garden centres, to have a look at their house plants and also outdoor plants. They had lots of really cool plants and I did actually make a few purchases, including one plant you might be able to see behind me, but I also filmed lots of footage of their house plant section. So I'll show you that now and stick around to the end for a little haul of the things which I bought. Okay, so going in, the first thing I noticed was lots of flowering plants, which was really nice and colourful and summery. I've shown the various pea sillies and palms on the right hand side in lots of videos of Ferndale before, so skipping it this time. But at the back were a couple of small devil's ivies for $7.99. There are also some larger ones with longer vines. These were $17.99. And also some pothos on moss poles. This one was $49.99 and labelled as a golden queen. It looked more like a neon or lemon lime to me. And next to that was some philodendron silver sword. Also on a moss pole and priced at $29.99. Moving along, there were, I think, some gerberas next to all these orchids, so purple and pink ones, and lots of white as well. Above that was what I think is a banana tree, but the foliage is similar to the bird of paradise plants, so until it blooms or produces its fruit, I'm not quite sure which one it is. But anyway, I then moved to the cactus. They had some cute pots underneath. And as always, loads of different types of cacti all the way along this table. These cacti tend to be quite reasonably priced. I think they're about five or each, but less for the smaller ones. So this is definitely a good place to come if you like cacti. There were also succulents, including lithops. This larger pot was $7.99, but they also had smaller pots for $6.99. This particular one had a really large lithop in there that looked particularly kind of alien-like. And then they had some more succulents, mostly jade and echeveria. They also had air plants, which I'm always tempted by for $3.99, but didn't get any this time. And there were also some whale fin sansevieria. Then there were some big peperomia raindrop. These were $9.99, perhaps a little bit expensive, as you can get these in Ikea now. Next to them was the Pilia Peperomioides Mojito Splash, which was $39.99. And I've said before in videos, but I'm not really a fan of these. Above those was some really long Spanish moss for $12.99. And next to that were some Ginseng Bonsai, which looked to be in self-watering pots, but I didn't take a close look at them this time. Then onto the shelves of small plants. Lots of things there as always if you've seen my Ferndale shop with me before. So on this occasion there were this Calathea, some little Peperomia, lots of Boston Fern and spider plants. Also some slightly bigger ferns and some Fetonia at the back there. And above was this lovely pink Cryptanthus bromeliad. And back down there were some little Dracaenas and more Fetonia and Peperomia. Then some small Syngonium and a few Peperomia graviolans for $3.99. There was also a tray of Alocasia Bambino Arrow in 5.5cm pots for $5.99 each. They were quite little, but looked healthy with at least three stems on most of them. And I decided to get one of the Syngonium. 
So I think I'm just trying to decide which variety and then pick out the best plant. And I decided on this one, which was 2 99 And on the bottom shelf, there were some peacock calathea, uh, jelly peperomia and peperomia pixie, but nothing too interesting. Going to the area opposite, we've got a rabbit paw fern in a hanging pot for 19.99. Then a few types of dracaena or dragon trees. And I came across a few alocasia pink dragons. This was £30 and I think it's about to bloom. But yeah, this plant's really growing on me. So I might get one soon if I see it available for a reasonable price. Also on this table were some calla lilies and I think some alocasia regal shield. Then red and yellow flowering bromeliad, not a plant I'm too interested in at all. It looks sort of fake and plasticky to me, so not something I really want. And we've got some hanging chadascanti and anuk and lipstick plants. Then we've got the bigger plants, so rubber plants and other types of ficus and some variegated aurea chiflera. And also some citrus plants, along with a little basil in this area, so this area smelled really nice and summery. On the left of this big table, they had a lot of philodendron saloon atom, or tree philodendron. They were 9 99 and I liked the leaf formation on this Hawaiian palm, which was 12 99 uh, More philodendron atom in a kind of metal greenhouse thing. <laughs> And then we've got some smaller dragon trees and a few sort of really lush and full ZZ plants. Then there was this big boy, which is a xanthosoma, and it had black stems with really lovely large leaves, but I couldn't see a price on it. Then what have we got? Oh, a Fluid Engine Ruby Pyramid which I think is a hybrid, but it kind of looks like a reverted pink princess to me. But that was 29.99. Then they had different bacchia, some fun coloured begonias, a philodendron birkin for 16.99, which I think is quite a lot considering these are kind of everywhere now. There are also some bigger syngoniums, then crotons and a few types of fern. Up on this shelf they had a decent number of Syngonium Tri-Leaf Wonder for just shy of £20. And then this with the striker leaf was another type of Xanthosoma. It's a Lindenii for £29.99. Got no idea if that's reasonable or not, but it gave me sort of jungle vibes. And finally some third engine Malay Gold. And now I'm looking at a trolley of clearance plants. They had all sorts in here, some more bromeliads, but what caught my eye was what looked like a Raphidophora tetrasperma, although labelled as a philodendron minima. It had a really long vine, which I think I'm trying to show you. And then they had some more ZZ plants, along with various pots on this shelving area. Then some big Monstera deliciosa for 22 99 so not too bad. Then more variegated Chiflera, the Big Devil's Ivy and a Moss Pole. Um, not too sure what those plants were. But lots more Dragon Trees and some of the Philodendron Malay Gold again. Then Flamingo Anthurium and Fitonia. This area had some lovely big leaf plants, including that stripy xanthosoma again. Sorry, lots of moving around in these clips. We've got some red striped Maranta lucanera and Maranta kershaviana. Both were priced at 9 99 Then here's the final section. There's a couple of hanging plants. Uh, I decided to do a slow zoom on this staghorn fern, which was 24 99 then a lipstick plant on the right, and a bromeliad, and here's one of those staghorns from the other side. And we've got some larger ferns down there, and a hanging deschidia.
And at the final section, back near the entrance, there were some lovely African violets in shades of purple and pink. They were in 12cm pots for £3.99 each. And here are the gerberas, lots of pretty summery colours there for £4.99. And the final plant is this super large fern. I hope you enjoyed seeing the houseplant section at Ferndale Garden Centre. I actually bought four plants while I was there. So to start with, I bought one outdoor plant. So that is this hardy fuchsia in the variety Heidi Anne. I have a little pink pot which I want to put outside my front door so I thought this would be perfect for it. I do have a couple of fuchsias in my front garden but they haven't flowered yet so I've got high hopes for this one. And as you can see in the label it was £2.99. Then moving on to houseplants and starting with the smallest one I bought this cute little syngonium. It's in a 6cm pot and I just put it into this blue ceramic one which I had spare. I'm not quite sure what variety it is but it has these lovely bright green leaves and a kind of mottled dark green colouring on the edge of the leaf. And I think you can also see some pink in the veining in the centre of the leaves too. I've bought quite a few syngoniums from Ferndale in these little 6cm pots and they seem to be doing quite well in my care so I've got hopes that this one will too. As you'll have seen in the tour, Ferndale had quite a lot of flowering houseplants in stock and I was quite tempted by this beautiful purple and white African violet. I'll get it out of its packaging. This isn't the exact right pot for it, it's kind of a bit deeper down, but it'll do for now. I've seen other people post pictures of African violets and they've always interested me but I've never really come across ones that I really like before. But these have beautiful white and purple petals with a bright yellow centre. And I'm really into purple and yellow at the moment. I've just painted my kitchen yellow and also my front door purple. So I thought this was perfect. This has quite sort of hard, succulenty kind of leaves which are a little bit furry. And it's got lots of flowers currently but there are also lots of new buds coming as well. This is in a 12cm pot and it was 3 99 I don't know much about the care of these so I'll have to look into that. But for now I'm really happy to have a flowering plant in my houseplant collection. The final plant I bought you can see behind me there and it is a philodendron minima which I think is an alternate name for the Raphidophora tetrasperma or mini monstera. I'm going to look into it some more and see exactly which one it is but I wouldn't be surprised if it is a Raphidophora tetrasperma because I have had plants mislabeled from Ferndale before. As you'll have seen in the footage this was actually in a separate cart which had reduced plants on it and I didn't notice it at first which is strange because it's a massive plant but I just couldn't pass it up so it should have been 29 99 but because it was reduced it was 15 pounds which I think for a plant that has maybe a two meter vine meter and a half vine I thought it was really good it was in the reduced section so some of its leaves are definitely not looking their best as you'll see there's a little bit of yellowing on some of the leaves and there's a few crispy bits and this vine also has quite a bare section so what I am going to do is actually cut this big long vine so probably there and then do some wet stick propagations in sections and maybe split this part with lots of leaves too and I'll probably do a separate video on that but overall it does still have lots of new growth on so I have a new leaf coming out of this petiole. There's a few growth points down here which I'll show you better in the close-ups. And it has some good chunky aerial roots. So I'm actually really pleased with this. I have seen this plant for a lot cheaper but generally those much smaller plants. And even when I do cut this vine off it's still a decent height plant. Um, I'm sat on the floor and it's probably about up to my shoulders. When I've quarantined this plant, I'm considering letting it sort of climb up this cabinet behind me, maybe on one of the sides, 
or perhaps put it somewhere else and let it climb up the walls. I'm not quite sure how good of an idea that is, but I have seen pictures of people doing that with this plant as well as others, and it just looked really cool to me. But otherwise, that is my bargain Philodendron Minima or Raphidophora tetrasperma. And that's everything I bought on this trip to Ferndale. I'm really pleased with my purchases. I think all of them are really good and I'm looking forward to seeing them grow. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on Friday for another planty video. Bye.